lemon shark isn't exactly small. So what's it doing in a program about tiny beasts? Well, it's pregnant. Inside its womb are some vicious little babies. And while examining mothers like this one, researchers have been bitten by their unborn offspring. Truly enfant terrible. The word carnivore usually conjures up dramatic images. Large, ferocious, frightening. But there are some that don't quite live up to that reputation. They're ferocious all right, but well, they're also small. The weasel family contains the tiniest carnivores in the world. Polecats, stoats and weasels. Opting for speed, not size. Their long, thin bodies make them incredibly agile. And despite their pint-sized proportions, they're efficient killers. Small but deadly. This polecat, about 40 centimetres long, isn't too worried about dense undergrowth. It can wiggle through the thickest of thickets. And if a rabbit dives into a burrow, that's no problem either. The polecat's eel-like body squeezes in, with room to spare. The rabbit has no escape. It may be twice as large as the polecat, but these carnivores can take on prey seven times their own size. That's like a lion killing an elephant. Occasionally, though, members of the weasel family aim too high or too large. The stoat is smaller than the polecat, only 30 centimetres long. It isn't deterred by the prospect of a big lunch. But here, in this life or death race, the rabbit's odds are much better. It finally chases off the stoat, which will have to find something smaller. Then there's the smallest of the small, the weasel itself. This might look like a stoat, but its tail hasn't got the characteristic black tip. <laughs> 